Lilith's Brood, from Wikipedia, read by The Voice Before the Void. Lilith's Brood is a series of three science fiction works by Octavia E. Butler. The three volumes, Dawn, Adulthood Rights, and Imago, were previously collected under the title of Xenogenesis. The collection was first published under the current title of Lilith's Brood in 2000. Synopsis The first novel in the trilogy, Dawn, was published in 1987. The story begins after the United States and the Soviet Union obtained nuclear weapons and their actions resulted in a terrible nuclear war that left the Earth uninhabitable. Humans are all but extinct. The few survivors are plucked from the surface of their dying world by an alien race, the Owen Collie. The title character, Lilith, a black human female, awakens from stasis centuries later on an Owen Collie ship. She meets her saviors slash captors and is repulsed by their alienness. The Owen Collie don't have eyes, or ears, or noses, but sensory tentacles over their entire bodies, with which they can perceive the world much better than a human can. Stranger still, the Owen Collie have three genders, male, female, and Uloi. All Owen Collie have the ability to perceive biochemistry down to a genetic level, but the Uloi have the ability to directly manipulate genetic material. Uloi can mutate and evolve any living thing they touch and build offspring gene by gene using the genetic material from their male and female mates. Despite their alienness, the Uloi are strangely alluring, sexually arousing even while being visually repulsive. The Owen Collie have made Earth habitable again and want Lilith's help in training humans to survive on Earth without human technology. In exchange, the Owen Kali want to interbreed with the humans to create a new human Owen Kali hybrid race. This book focuses on the conflict between Lilith's desire to stay human and her loyalty to her species and her desire to survive at any cost. The second book, Adulthood Writes, published in 1988, takes place years after the events of Dawn. Humans and Owen Collie live together on Earth, though everything is not peaceful. Some humans have accepted the bargain and live with the Owen Collie and give birth to hybrid children called constructs. Others, however, have refused the bargain and live in separate, all-human villages. The Uloi have made all humans infertile, so the only children born are the ones made with Uloi intervention. This creates a great deal of tension and strain, as the humans see themselves being outbred by the Owen Collie human constructs. Desperate humans often steal human-looking construct children to raise as their own. The main character of the second book, Akin, is the first male construct born to a human mother. Akin has more human in him than any construct before him. This book focuses on Akin's struggle with his human and his own collie natures. As a human, 
He understands the desire to fight for the survival of humanity as an independent race. As an Owen Collie, he understands that the combination of the species is necessary, and that humans would destroy themselves again if left alone. The final book of the trilogy, Imago, published in 1989, shows the reader what has been hinted at in the first two books, the full potential of the new human owen Collie hybrid species. The story is told from the perspective of the shape-shifting healer Jodas. Through Jodas' unique heritage, it has unlocked the latent genetic potential of humans and owen Collie. In order to survive its metamorphosis, Jodas must find suitable human male and female mates, and it finds them in the most unexpected of places, a village of renegade humans. This book brings a sense of completeness to the story by allowing the reader to understand the Owen Kali better by understanding Jodas. Themes Throughout the Xenogenesis series, themes of sexuality, gender, race, and species are explored. The Owen Kali believe that humans have an inevitable self-destructive conflict between their high intelligence and their hierarchical natures. According to the Owen Kali, this is what caused the war that almost ended the human race and this is why they cannot leave the humans alone. Lilith and the Owen Kali human hybrids are constantly battling with this inner conflict. According to Arikia Nelson, the trilogy parallels the story of African slaves in America and the conflict that latter generations of African Americans feel regarding their integration into American society. The human Owen Kali hybrids feel that they have somehow betrayed their human side by integrating into Owen Kali society. But at the same time, because of the vast power imbalance, they never really had another viable option. This theme is again acknowledged by Timothy Laurie, who contrasts the common nurturing image of womanhood with Lilith's drive to survive at any cost, even if that entails sacrificing some of what she believes it means to be human. The series also draws upon elements of the myth of Lilith, the first wife of the mythological first man, Adam. In addition to the social themes, the genetic mastery of the Owen Kali show the possible results of developing genetic science and biologically based technology. This sound file and text are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 3.0 Unported License, available at creativecommons.org.